Today, I'm going to talk about two different references and teaching you how to govern your body rather than having your body govern you. So the first source that I'm going to turn to is a, a saint from over 800 years ago named Francis of Assisi. And the book that I learned this from is from an author named Eknath Aswarna in his book, Seeing Through the Eyes of Love. And then secondly, we're going to dive into a, a sacred text to me that teaches us the power of governing our bodies rather than the other way around. So first of all, St. Francis as referenced by Ekna. So in Eswarna's book, he goes over the imitations of Christ. It's a, a book written hundreds of years ago that is the number two best-selling book in the world, only next to the Bible. And he goes through his translation of it, so to speak, and he extracts from it great principles, such as that taught by St. Francis of the CC, when he references how we can control our bodies rather than the other way around. And he also references that many, many years ago, people used to uh, some people probably do it today, but they would hit themselves and beat themselves up and try to subdue their bodies by being violent with it. And he suggests from Francis of Assisi that our bodies are brother donkey. And as Francis put it, I feed him and take care of him, but I ride on him. I don't let him ride on me. In other words, we are spiritual beings and we have this spiritual light within us, a divine nature, and it should be ruling our body. Our body should not be riding us and telling us what to eat. If you're addicted to fast food, soda, or any other of these garbage foods that tear and kill your body essentially, now's the time to change. And you do that by allowing your inner soul, your divine nature to take control to govern your body rather than the other way around I can't say that enough you need to take control it's up to you it's your decision what you put in your body and what you don't no one's forcing you to eat unhealthy foods healthy foods are living foods that vibrate that are alive such so as fruits and vegetables that bring life and vitality to your life and nutrition so that you get filled faster rather than chemicals and other additives that make your body say, oh, I need more of it when you're already had enough food. But it's because it's lacking nutrition, you miss out on so much. So when you turn your life over to the Lord, he allows you to cleanse that body of yours through first your thoughts. You've got to cleanse your thoughts and put your thoughts in order because your body is controlled or ought to be controlled by you, by your choices. And it's so beautiful when you do begin to change what you eat, your taste buds change. Everything about your life changes, what you let in and what you let out. So now to the sacred text, the second reference that I would like to use. In this sacred text, it says the following, that which is governed by law is also preserved by law and perfected perfected and sanctified by the same. Yes, perfected and sanctified and preserved. Those three power verbs. When you allow your spirit, your divine nature to control your body and live a higher law, a law of pure thoughts, a law of thoughts that think on Jesus Christ and allow his spirit to commune with you and to purify you from the inside out, you are given power over your body to preserve it and to perfect it and to sanctify it. And when you do these things, you are given power to say no to the garbage. You are given power over your addictions. You are given power to gradually grow in strength and in power. I'm not talking about power of your arm and your strength of willpower. I'm talking about surrendering your will to that of God. And then God buoys you up and gives you power beyond your own and enables you to say no to those addictive foods. It enables you to put your life in order and in harmony with him and grow line upon line upon line. And when you continue to grow and draw closer to him, he draws closer to you. And when you say, oh, I've had enough, I'm good where I am, then he takes that which was given to you and it's taken away. And this is the principle of life. We are intelligent beings filled with light. And when we turn to God, this light grows, kind of like turning a 60 watt light bulb to a 100 watt light bulb. When you turn to him, he edifies you and he gives you night and truth and empowers you to lift to a new level in your life. And this is the power that you need. It's not about bad diets or 
our exercise routines or all these different mumbo jumbos that men teach. Those may work for some people and they don't work for others. I'm telling you, it has to start with you making the choice to govern your body, to ride brother donkey rather than be ridden by him.